Hello everyone, children. Welcome to the Max class once again. In the last class, we was uh, we were discussing about how to solve a quadratic equation using the factorization method. And today I'll be discussing and I'll be explaining to you how to solve a quadratic equation by using a quadratic formula. So before we go to the quadratic formula, I would like to derive for you. All of us know that a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. This is the standard form of a quadratic equation. When we are multiplying with four a throughout the whole equation, what do we get? We get here four a square a x square plus four a b x plus four a c is equal to zero. Here we can say that two a x whole square plus two into two a b x plus 4ac is equal to 0. Therefore, let us take this 4ac this side and which will give us 2ax whole square plus 2 into 2ab into x is equal to minus 4ac. In order to make the left hand side a perfect square, let us add b square on both the sides. So we get here 2ax whole square plus 2 into 2abx plus b square is equal to b square minus 4ac. Here we know that this is of the form 2ax plus b whole square. This is equal to b square minus 4ac. This gives us 2ax plus b is equal to plus or minus root over of b square minus 4ac. When we are bringing plus b this side, we get 2ax is equal to minus b plus or minus root over of b square minus 4ac. Therefore, x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over of b square minus 4ac whole by bringing this 2a this side down we, we get here minus b plus or minus root over of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Therefore this is called as the quadratic formula and this has been derived by Sridhara Acharya and now students let me explain to you and let me show you how by using this quadratic formula we can find the values of any given quadratic equation. Here is an example where we have got a quadratic equation 3x square minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. We are going to solve the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So what do we have? The value of a, the coefficient of x square which is a is 3 and here we are getting b as minus 4 and c as minus 4 again. We know that the quadratic formula says minus x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. Therefore, substituting the values of b, a and c here, we get minus of b is how much? Minus 4. So, minus of minus 4 plus or minus root over of minus 4 whole square minus 4 into a gives us what? 3 into c is how much? Minus 4 whole by 2 into a. a is our 3. So minus into minus we get here plus 4 plus or minus root over of 16 minus 4 3s are 12 and 12 4s are 48. So here we get minus 48 divided by 2 into 3 we get here 6. So 4 plus or minus 16 when we are removing the brackets we get here plus 48 whole upon by 6. So 4 plus or minus root over of here when we are adding this to what do we get here 8 plus 6 is how much 14 so here we get 64 divided by 6. So 4 plus or minus 64 is the root uh, the square root of 8. So we get here 8 by 6. 
So here we get 4, 8, 6. All of them have got the common factor which is your 2. So let me write it here. So 2, let us take it common. So remaining will be how much? 2 plus or minus 4 divided by 6. So we can cancel this. And what do we get here? We get 2 plus or minus 4 by 3. So let us take first the plus sign. So 2 plus 4 by 3 which gives us 6 by 3 and cancel it we get here 2. Now let us take another uh, root which is which gives us 2 minus 4 by 3 it is minus 2 by 3. Therefore what are the values of x? Let me write it here that it will be easier for you to understand. Therefore here we get the values of x as 1 is 2 and the other one is minus 2 by 3. Therefore students, this is an example how by taking the quadratic formula, we are able to find out the value of the given quadratic equation or the root of the given quadratic equation as 2 and minus 2 by 3. So now children, we will be studying about the nature of the roots. As we have studied that x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. The nature of the root says that whatever quantity or value we are getting under this root over. So here b square minus 4ac. Whatever value we are getting here it determines the nature of the root. So depending upon this value we have got three cases like in the first case if you are having b square minus 4ac greater than 0 then the nature of the roots will be real and distinct roots. So therefore, when we are finding out the value of b square minus 4ac, if it is greater than 0, then the type of roots are what? Real and distinct roots. And the second case is where b square minus 4ac, if it is equal to 0, we get the nature of the roots as real and equal roots. So here when it is real and distinct roots we get both the roots as minus b plus root over of b square minus 4ac whole by 2a and another one we get as minus b minus root over of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here we get real and equal roots when our discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then both the roots we get as minus b by 2a and minus b by 2a. The third condition that we are having if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then there will be no real roots. So these are the nature of the roots depending upon the value of b square minus 4ac. This value or this b square minus 4ac it is called as the discriminant and it is denoted as d. So d is the discriminant and it is expressed as b square minus 4ac. Now children, I will be explaining it to you by an example and an exercise question. So children, basing on the discriminant d, we are going to find out the value of k. Now look at the given question. It says k plus 4x x square plus k plus 1 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. This equation has got real and equal roots. Find the value of k. We know that if it is real and equal root then d is equal to 0. So what is d here? b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Here a's value is k plus 4 b's value is k plus 1 and c's value is 1 from the given equation. Now let's substitute all these values in this discriminant b square minus 4ac. 
So what do we get here? B square means k plus 1 whole square minus 4 into a means what? k plus 4 into c is how much? 1 is equal to 0. Now simplifying this or expanding this what do we get? a plus b whole square. So k square plus 2k plus 1 minus 4 let us multiply it inside we get here minus 4k. So 4 into 4 is how much? 16 minus into plus is minus 16 is equal to 0. Here we get k square. Here we are having 2k and minus 4k. So how much do you get? Minus 2k and plus 1 minus 16 we get here. Minus 15 is equal to 0. Therefore, here we can split the middle term like a into c we are getting 1 into 15 which is your 15 and your middle term we can take it as 3 into 5 because 3 5s are 15 and the difference of these two terms it will give us 2. So because here we are having minus sign let us put the minus sign in a greater number. So we get here k square minus 5k plus 3k minus 15 is equal to 0. This implies taking the first two terms, k is common here. So we get here k minus 5 plus 3 again k minus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore k minus 5 is equal to 0 and k plus 3 is equal to 0. k gives us 5 and here k gives us minus 3. Therefore the values of k are what? 5 and minus 3. This is how when we are putting this discriminant or the nature of the root which is already given in the question we are either able to find the value of x or the uh, root of the given equation or we are able to find out any kind of literals in the given equation. That's all for today children. So in the next class I will be giving more exemplary questions and I will be explaining more on this nature of roots. Thank you.